All right, for more, let's bring in Florida Congressman Mike Waltz, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. What do you think about that? Using the, our national parks now to house these migrants? Yes, yeah, Sandra, the, the hypocrisy here is rich on multiple levels. I mean, President Biden just dedicated a new national monument, national park out in Arizona, ostensibly to preserve and protect those pristine lands uh, for future generations. And when it comes to any type of new energy exploration, denied, not allowed. Any kind of mining uh, for our economy, denied, not allowed. But suddenly it's okay to put tens of thousands of illegal immigrants on there without appropriate sewage facilities, without appropriate living conditions, then that suddenly that's gonna be fine. So, I mean, that is rich with hypocrisy. The whole sanctuary city uh, I, narrative is completely blown up uh, for, for the left. And then my question is, this is supposedly a temporary solution with temporary housing. How temporary is temporary? Yeah. And how far is this going to go? Are we going to see tent cities in Yellowstone and Yosemite next? Uh, th th there's no plan. It's out of control. Yeah, I mean, there's no talk about that. A, a time limit. Uh, Governor Hochul uh, said she'll fully reimburse the city for the leasing of Floyd Bennett Field. Um, but when and how? For how long? For yeah. how long? Um, right. Okay, so Democrats on the Hill just spoke to our own Hillary Vaughn. Uh, we, just, we just heard from... Uh, Senate Judiciary Republicans for quite a while on the border. Hillary was able to talk to some Democrats on the Hill about the situation at our southern border. Listen to what they had to say, Congressman. At what point does this become an invasion of our country? Well, I, I would never use that word. Not an invasion. This is not some uh, uh, pests. These are human beings, and that's the way they need to be treated. People are breaking the rules, paying a criminal organization to do so, to get to the front of the line. Does that concern you? Have you ever been to the border before to see what's happening? Yes, I have. I've spent a lot of time at the border, yeah. You didn't talk with the right people, apparently, because your information, your questions based on, uh, you know, your questions are kind of off base. Didn't talk to the right people, Hank Johnson tells her. What was your response when you heard that? You know, that's just, that's sad, uh, and they can no longer stick their head in the sand. Just women and girls alone, multiple uh, international NGOs say 30 to 40 percent, and do the math on that, of women and girls are sexually assaulted, raped, and sold into human trafficking. Uh, the cartels are running our border. They control 30 percent of Mexico. They're heavily armed. Uh, we have to take action here, and listen, the thing that is really blowing up their just uh, denial of the situation is that people are feeling it in New York and in Chicago and in cities all over the United States. It's not just if you don't watch uh, Fox News, you don't see it. They're seeing it every time they walk out their door now, uh, and it can no longer be ignored. All right, Congressman, appreciate you joining us. Um, and again, reiterating, these are live images coming in every single minute that we're watching this. This is more and more people coming over that border. Eagle Pass, Texas, uh, middle of the day, 1.30 Central Time there. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.